What's going on fish nerds? Today I'm going to show you how to dip your plants to make sure they're snail free before you put them in your tank. Alright guys, so you all know that I understand the benefits of having snails in the aquarium. I have an entire video dedicated to aquarium snails. I am a fan of snails. But you might not be a fan of snails or maybe you've got a particular tank that you don't want a particular kind of snail in maybe you've already got uh, a particular type of snail in your tank and you don't want to mix you just want your ram's horns or you just want your malaysian trumpet snails and you don't want any pond snails sneaking in for whatever reason maybe you're buying some some plants and a lot of people when they first get into keeping live plants in their aquarium that's one of the main things they're worried about is if i buy live plants it's going to bring snails into my aquarium and I don't want that well today I'm going to show you how to keep snails out of your aquarium when you're adding new aquarium plants or even if you're moving plants from one tank to another tank like I'm doing and you don't want to transfer a particular type of snail that's what I'm going to show you how to do today all right so for starters you're going to need a couple of buckets one that we're going to actually dip the plants in and another to rinse the plants off now there are a few ways that you can make this dip solution. Uh, one is you can use aquarium salt. You can get you know some aquarium water, add some salt to it, and uh, you can dip your plants for just a few minutes, and uh, that should get all the snails off of your plants. And then you just rinse the salt off in your rinse bucket, add them to your aquarium. Or you can also use a bleach solution, uh, which is severe, I'm not doing that because it is such a severe tactic. I don't like playing with bleach. I understand there are ways that you can do it and uh, it will work out. But uh, what you would do if you decide to take that route is you would use three quarters of a cup of bleach uh, per gallon of water. That's not the, uh, the gel stuff or the super color booster or anything like that. Just straight old regular cheap chlorine bleach. and. Uh, you would only dip your plants for like a maximum of a minute or two. You don't want to leave your plants soaking in that. It will kill your plants, not just the snails. Uh, and so then from there you would again rinse it off, add it back to your tank. Now the method that I'm using here, I am using the alum method. And this is alum. It's just, you find this in the, the spice aisle at your local grocery store. This is McCormick, not a sponsor. Unless McCormick wanted to, you know, send me some free steak seasoning for mentioning their brand in this video, then hey, yeah, I'm all for it. But no, not a sponsor. Uh, this stuff looks like salt, but it isn't. It's aluminum sulfate, if I remember correctly. But I mean, this is what it is. It's alum is in the spice rack, uh, and you would mix that. I want to say one to three tablespoons per gallon uh, into your water uh, and you would actually allow the plants in this solution to soak for a minimum of two to three hours, not minutes, hours, um, and in order to get all the, the snails off. And it is much, much, much more safe for your plants than the salt or, and especially than the bleach. That's the reason I'm doing it. I don't want to hurt any of these plants. Uh, so I'm soaking that in this. Um, and then after a few hours, you can pull that out, rinse them back off, get them back in your tank. The, the one drawback to this method is if you have egg laying snails, it will not kill the eggs. Um, so if you bought plants and there were some bladder snails or some ram's horn snails in the tank at the store you bought your plants from, it would not get like ram's horn snail eggs off 100% of the time. I'm not going to say it won't get any of them off, but it's, it's not going to be 100%. Um, but in my case, I'm not worried about that because the tank these came out of only had Malaysian trumpet snails. That is this 55 gallon tank. What happened to that? Well, you'll have to wait till next week in order to find out what happened to this. So that is the method there. So these have actually been soaking for about three hours now. So I'm going to get this filled up with fresh water and rinse these off. All right guys, so that's just a quick tip for you. I know a lot of people worry about transferring snails from one tank to the other, especially if they're buying them from a store. Uh, those are three ways you can do it. You can do it with a bleach solution, just 
be very careful. Don't over uh, soak your plants. It will hurt your plants if you leave them in too long. Uh, you can do it with salt. Again, be careful. Uh, and I'm choosing to do the alum method simply because it is safer for the plants. It may not be as reliable, but I'll take that risk because I don't want to hurt my plants. And you know, for what I'm using it for, it's reliable enough. All right, guys, let me know what you think. If you have any other tips of dealing with snails, throw those down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. God bless you fish nerds. I'll see you next time.